In this presentation, we're going to talk about p-value, how to use the p-value, and how to use the TI calculator to find the corresponding p-value when the computer test statistic is given. The formal definition of a p-value is, assuming the null hypothesis is true, p-value is the probability of getting a value of a test statistic that is at least as extreme as the one suggested by the sample data. The use of p-value is very straightforward. We're going to support the null hypothesis anytime p-value is greater than the given significance level alpha. And we reject the null hypothesis anytime the p-value is less than or equal to alpha. Let's look at some examples in different cases. Our first example is when the computer test statistic is Z. First, if the computer test statistic is negative, we're going to use the fact of a symmetry in the normal distribution and use the positive value of the computer test statistic. And then we use the normal CDF to find the corresponding area, which translates to probability. Suppose our computer test statistic Z is negative 3.012 and the process is a left tail test and we want to find the corresponding p-value. So graphically I have my normal curve, I have my computer test statistic of negative 3.012 it's a left tail test, so this area represents the p-value. So, we're going to use the symmetry, and we're going to go to the other side. The area from 3.012 to the right would be the same as the area from negative 3.012 to the left. So, to find the p-value, we're going to use normal CDF. Our lower value is 3.012. Our upper value is E99 with the mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. And the answer is 0 0.00. One, three. If this was a two-tail test, we have to multiply this result by two. Let's look at another case. When the computer test statistic is T, again, we're going to use the absolute value of a computer test statistic. In a TI-83 plus or TI-84 plus, we can use the function TCDF. And that is located under second, VARS, and then look for TCDF. On TI-83 calculator, you can look for the program T-area and follow the on-screen steps. So let's say our computer test statistic here is T of negative 1.789 with the sample size 18, and this is a two-tail test. So if we look at the T distribution, mark our computer test statistic, the p-value will be twice of this area. Again, we're going to use the symmetry. We're going to go to the other side. 
and we're going to find the area from 1.789 to the right. So p-value would be equal to 2 times, now we're going to go to the TCDF function, our lower value is 1.789 our upper value will be E99, followed by the degrees of freedom, in this case, 17. And the corresponding p-value is 0 0.0914. Our last example is when the computer test statistic is chi-square. So let's say we have a computer test statistic chi-square of 3.456 with the sample size 10 and left tail test. So we're using chi distribution for this, meaning that the graph begins at 0, will be skewed to the right. It's a left tail test, so this area is the p-value, which goes from 0 to our computer test statistic of 3.456. For this, we're going to use the function chi-square CDF, which is, again, in your TI calculator, it's under second VARS. So this will be chi-square CDF with the lower value of 3 point, I'm sorry, with the lower value of 0, upper value of 3.456, followed by degrees of freedom, which is nine and the answer for this is point zero five six six you can use the handout available in my website or just follow the steps as you see them on the screen i hope this presentation helped you understand how to find the p-value and how to use it